to go away and we've normalized election violence. And like they say, um, you rig election where you are popular. And so it is he who rigged most that um, usually wins election. So we normalize it. We talk about it as a door. It's, um, you know, here with us. And so we should be used to it. I, I next had um, promised to eliminate all of these uh, processes using um, the bimodal verification system and the upload of results. We have seen INEC display this in uh, the offset elections. We have also seen, you know, demonstration, you know, of this same thing. But unfortunately, like I, I, I say consistently, um, guns don't kill. It is human beings that kill. Human beings pull the trigger. Uh, the processes are put there to ensure a seamless and transparent, uh, you know, process. But unfortunately, human manipulation has led to what we are facing today, um, where we our laws are there. They are largely obeyed. They are obeyed in, in breach. The governors have become emperors in their states, and uh, the security agencies, and in some cases, INEC officials. A hands in glove with um, uh, you know uh, the those people who want to undermine the process. So it's quite unfortunate. Uh, no explanation from uh, no official explanation from INEC. I would I would have expected at the moment, you know, the um, the failure of um, uh, the beavers to take the uh, what do you call it the presidential you know, election results. Mm -hmm. And that immediately there would have been a statement from INEC, you know, stating the reasons, what is needed, what is needed to be done, and uh, what is currently doing, what led to those, uh, you know, hitches. But um, any statement from now would be an afterthought, 